Hello and welcome to your Good Barber back office. Today I will show you how to add the first product of your shop. And you'll see it's pretty easy. To start, go to the products menu and click on add. You are now in your products page. First step, the product title. So I've decided to create a sneaker shop and my first product is called Basic Nude. Let's move to the short description. It will be displayed at the top of your products page. To add the images, you simply need to drag and drop from your computer. You can add up to 9 images to a product. I really like those pictures. What do you think? Once all this is done, you can add the price and variants to your product. Here I've created a size variant. If you'd like to know more on how to set up a variant and manage your product prices, I did a link to the corresponding video in this video description. Let's add the stock of the product, unlimited or numeric. The weight of the product. This is important if you want your shipping rate to be calculated according to the weight of your products. Finally, we add the product SKU, which is the reference to your stock management. Et voilà. That's how it looks like with all the sizes available. Last step on your product page, filling in the additional info. You will see later on how they are displayed on the bottom of the page of your product. You can add all sorts of content, text, photos, and even EPT code. I'm just going to add text and give a few details on the composition of my sneakers. I formatted the text so it's more clear for my clients. And here you go. Okay, almost there. We are now going to move to the right side menu. First, if you already have created your collections, you can select which collection or collections your product will belong. If you want to find out more on how to create your collection, I've added the link in the info bar below. You can now add tags to your products to search it or organize it. I'm also adding the video on the tags in the info bar. I'm adding the light tag. That's it. I only need to choose how my product will be displayed on the list. Let me show you what it looks like. Classic, aligned with the other products. Or highlight, pinned at the top of the list. All we need to do now is to create the title and meta description tags of our products page for SEO. You can also rewrite the URL you can see a snippet preview just below. Voila, I'm quite happy with the results. Just need to publish. Let's see how it looks like on the client side. That's it, you know how to add products to your shop. Can't wait to see all your shops with their products. See you very soon for another tutorial.